Labor Day holiday weekend, Michelle, and today the kids and teachers are going to be hot once again in those classrooms. And it is going to be another hot day, one where we'll be close to a record high. We're going to talk about that. Want to take a look at the conditions outside right now, and we're keeping an eye on not just Gordon, which is in the Gulf of Mexico, but also Florence. It's a tropical storm out in the middle of the Atlantic still, and you can see the uh, forecast track there has this staying fairly far out to sea for at least the next uh, five to seven days, and from there going to work its way towards uh, hopefully out over the ocean, but it is something that we'll have to uh, continue to monitor. Narragansett from our town beach this morning. We are dry and quiet. The high temperature for today to beat 92 degrees from 1937. I'm forecasting a high near 90, so we'll be close. Feel like temperatures today are up into the low and mid 90s. Part of the reason we're under a heat advisory won't be quite as oppressive the farther east that you go and the later into the afternoon that you go as our winds turn to the east and southeast. It'll cool our temperatures down a little bit for the shores of Massachusetts along the Rhode Island coastline and especially interior parts of central and western Rhode Island. It's going to be another hot one. Our winds right now out of the uh, northwest. They'll turn again more to the east in the afternoon. Dew points are going to stay near 70 degrees today, still at 73 in Providence, Newport at 73 degrees. Our dew points, well, they get a little bit of a drop on Wednesday back to the high oppressive range on Thursday and then finally start to uh, see at least a few days of cooler weather starting on Friday. Right now, the setup has high pressure to the south and another area of high pressure to the north. This is that weak front that's coming through. It'll be pushing towards the uh, south and west through the day today, providing that shift in the winds. Here's where we are with Florence out over the Atlantic. Again, going to be seeing this, hopefully taking that turn more towards the uh, north as we head into next week. Some of our computer models, there's still a large spread, take it more of a westward track. So we're not going to write off Florence, but uh, the latest track from the National Hurricane Hurricane Center would promote most likely an out to sea scenario. Right now, locally, we're talking about the heat and the humidity. That's the main weather story, certainly. Temperatures by the time the kids are walking out to the bus stop will be in the upper 70s, and by lunchtime, mid and upper 80s, with the temperatures this afternoon warmer the farther west that you go. So 87 degrees in Wickford, 89 Hope Valley, low and mid 80s along the Rhode Island coastline, about 90 in Johnston, East Providence, West Warwick. That heat index into the low to mid 90s. We'll be into the upper 80s in Seekonk and Attleboro today. Fall River, New Bedford, mid 80s with that winds to the east southeast. So that puts our heat index again into the low 90s noon and 3 o'clock this afternoon, 90 at 4 o'clock for the heat index and then 81 at 8 o'clock in the evening. One of my favorite times to head to the beach that first week of September. So you've got some good beach weather, a little bit of morning fog, then near 83 degrees for your evening hours. We're looking mainly dry with temperatures dropping from the lower 80s into the lower 70s, and it'll be just a little bit cooler overnight tonight. We'll see some 60s for overnight lows rather than the 70s that we're starting with this morning. Upper 80s again for tomorrow, but it's a less humid day with any morning clouds giving way to some sunshine. As we head into your Thursday, we're watching a cold front. That front won't come through until Thursday evening or night. Out ahead of it's another hot and humid day with the chance of a shower or thunderstorm behind it. Those temperatures will cool into the 70s. The weekend looks good. Definitely a September feel Saturday and Sunday starting to warm back up early next week. Could be back into the 80s next week again. Full forecast on air WPRI.com throughout the